Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, and now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Mr. Shenanigans himself, and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977, episode 607 of the show, but this will be the first episode of my new segment, Big Beefy E's Boston Sports Beat. That's right, say that five times fast, huh? Now, why the Big Beefy E nickname? That was my nickname given to me by the boys over at Bofus and the Sofas. Shout out to Mr. Garrison96, um, a.k.a. Garrison Newkirk, um, Romy2184, a.k.a. Mr. Jerome Latimer, um, A. Pizzle 90, a.k.a. Alex Putnam, and Austin Putnam. Um, that was his real name. So, shout out to the Bofus and the Sofas for the new nickname, and I'm going to use it into my segment called Big Beefy E's Boston Sports Beat. So, I'm really excited, but not ex excited. As you know, I've been a New England uh, supporter of New England sports since 1986, um, first was baseball with the Red Sox in 96 was the Patriots and so on and so forth. And unfortunately, um, some sad news to report that the Boston Celtics have lost last night, Game 7. Um, they mentally collapsed. I think that's what um, I, you know, uh, Jay, um, Jason Tatum was playing hurt, Jalen Brown was playing hurt, and a lot of pl players were hurt, and a lot of key players and the Miami Heat defeated the Boston Celtics by the score of 103 to 84. They win the Eastern Conference Finals in a series of four games to three, and now they advance. Um, the Miami Heat advances to the NBA Finals, where they will be awaited on by the Denver Nuggets. And so it will be the Heat versus Nuggets NBA Finals. I know, I don't, I don't know if they're going to get a lot of ratings, but you know, because everybody wanted the Celtics Lakers final, but. That isn't the case. So, <clears throat> two of the most storied teams in NBA history, the Celtics and Lakers, are both out. And the, and are both out, basically. So, um, the Nuggets swept them right out of the playoffs, indeed. Um, so, they're going to have to be, so, they're going to be awaiting. Um, but here's the worst part about this, um, is that the Bruins, the Boston Bruins, in the hockey side of things, also got upset by a number eight seeded team in the uh, Florida Panthers? Where are the Panthers now? In the Stanley Cup Finals, and um, <clears throat> in the Stan in the Stanley Cup Finals. So, uh, so, so there's that. Um, also, also, the Vegas Golden Knights. Defeat the Dallas Stars six to nothing, and they'll be advancing to the Stanley Cup Finals for a second time in their short tenure. I think it was second time in what three years that this happened, or oh, second time in two years. Well, no, uh, if that's the case, back to back. The Golden Knights, well, they advance against the uh, yeah, second time in uh, yeah second time in three years because um, the Golden Knights faced the Capitals, and then the Bruins faced the Blues, and then next year. Yeah, the Golden Knights will be facing the Florida Panthers, so both of them will be searching for their first Stanley Cup. So this is going to be a battle of firsts for both teams out there. And uh, I, you know, this this Golden Golden Knights team, you know, I'm telling you, this is crazy. So yeah, going back, you know, the Celtics and the Heat, going back, but going back to that series, the Celtics, you know, they were, you know. A lot of people thinking that some of the Celtics players miss Ime Udoka. Maybe he was a big part of. Uh, yeah, he was a big part of the reason why the Celtics did make the playoffs because Udoka was more of a defensive-minded coach. But because of the um, the stuff and the issues, the, the legal issues with the sexual harassment and all that happened in the offseason, the Celtics had no choice but to let him go. They were thinking the league would do something, and since the league wasn't going to do anything, the Celtics figured they beat the league to the punch, or else they'd be canceled, cultured, and all that. And that could be another reason why too. Um, and unfortunately, that's where we stand right now. Um, you know, 
you know, I heard that Robert Williams, the third, got hurt. You know, Malcolm Brogdon do, did not do anything. Only played seven minutes. Um, wow. Most, you know, yeah, the most, uh, Jalen Brown played the most minutes with 43 minutes. Jason Tatum with 42. And, one, you know, it, it, it's a really, really tough decision. Uh, a really tough, uh, tough game for the Bruins, unfortunately. So, um, so, so, so there is that. So, uh, tonight, uh, tonight the Red Sox will be playing against, uh, against the Cincinnati Reds. A shout out to Kevin Henry, who may be watching. Uh, shout out to you, Kevin Henry, because I know your your Cincinnati Reds are going to be having a lot of fun. Um, uh, a lot of uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, mm. So, so we got we got that we got the uh, the, you know, so the Red Sox and Reds at Fenway Park. Um, let's see what we got here. Red Sox and fans. Okay, more games here. Red Sox and Reds. Uh, Reds at Fenway Park. Uh, for a three game series, and then the Rays come into town for th- for a four game series over the weekend. So. Tuesday through Thursday, midweek, we got the Reds, and then the Rays coming in for the weekend for the weekend series. Friday through through uh, oh Saturday's a doubleheader. Saturday is a doubleheader, so that's huge. Uh, then we then the Red Sox go on the road again against the Guardians for three, and then for the first time next week, we'll be facing the Red Sox will be facing the Yankees, and then. And then the Red Sox are coming back home in a, for another homestand in mid-June as a 2007 World Series rematch with the Colorado Rockies. And then the Yankees are coming out um, for a three-game series there. And that will be the weekend. Next, that'll be the weekend. <coughs> and then with the Red Sox going on a road game for three games... Um, for four game series against the Twins to almost um, go towards the end of June, so that so you no, know. so um, let's see. New look for a rotation, and you got you know you know West a uh, night West Coast game. Sox went four and five. We um went they won the series in San Diego two to one, swept, and then. And then the third set in uh, weekend because they they're because now um, uh, the you know four and five which is not that bad um, even though below five hundred in this case the Angels you know the Angels swept them San Diego took the last game of the series and so did um, Arizona now like I said it's going to be. Uh, you know, I you know a lot of people saying that they you know the 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 um uh the Red Sox do have a good um, the red the pitching starting to get so I'm gonna need some offensive help. I know Duvall's been in, Adam Duvall's been injured. I know uh freaking Yu Chang's been hurt. You know, Trevor Story's been hurt. So once we get Duvall and Story back, that's gonna be, the lineup's gonna be a little stronger than usual. Uh, Back home against Cincinnati, you know, this up and before again, including doubleheader on Saturday, off day on Monday, off of the, you know, so, uh, so, right now the rotation is coming together. Uh, I think Pavetta and Kluber going into going into the bullpen that could be, uh, could be so far, so, um, you know. So, uh, according to some of the reports here, um, um, according to reports here, uh, you know, Kluber is, uh, needs to um, ease into the new role as he finds a new routine. Kluber and Pavetta, along with Cutter Cropper and Josh Winkowski, four long relief weapons to utilize in mid to late innings. James Paston has his first rough out, had his first rough outing since debuting the season. With two billion starts, well, you know Brian Brian Bale, um, pitching very well. Tanner Houck dominated the Angels, but um, was less effective. And continues might he needs to find more consistency. Garrett Whitlock, um, 
came back from his neuritis scare, pitched very well, along a run, a run, on one run on three hits over five innings, without issuing a walk and strikeout with Chris Sale, who could be MVP of staff, and uh, you know, so uh, went through multiple iterations. So the offense has dipped a little bit. Um, let's see, well, because this is Raphael Dubbers might help, and. It's hard, you know, Masataka Yoshida, who saw an increase on the road trip. So, pushing, well, Tristan Casas had a good trip. You know, those types of trying, you know, and Jaron Duran has cooled off. You know, reinforcement of the way. Uh, Adam Duvall is scheduled to begin a rehab assignment in AAA on Tuesday. He's not eligible to come off until June of the 60-day IL until June the 9th. That's kind of perfect timing because I think the Yankees are going to come into town. Right for the center fielder. We'll see in front of taking throws. Yu Chang, uh, Yu Chang, uh, Yu Chang first base. And first base is not an option for him. So it's a designated hitter and play the outfield for Worcester. Uh, Trevor Story is computing ramping up, throwing and hitting. is not ready for games yet. He could return by mid to late July. Hmm. MC Strength opened the weekend, you know, 4 for 10. Uh, Christian Arroyo. So Arroyo, Trevor Story, uh, Meanwhile, Royal Chang and Trevor Story could be on their way. Um, Richard Bly, uh, Richard Blyer was hurt, so um, so who know who knows? Uh, I think two of the players, you know, Trevor Story not ready till July. Adam Duvall could be another could could be another story. You know, Adam Duvall could be on his way back. It's like June ninth. He's the first player to probably go return sooner. But I gotta tell you, um, it's gonna be heck of. Now for the Patriots, there were rumors going around. DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins has been released by Arizona. Um, what, let's go, let's check on the Patriots here because there, there were rumors going around, and now yeah, uh, Yanni uh, Kajuste signed with the Jets. Um, uh, then um, Nesson, uh, according to what Nesson dot com, DeAndre Hopkins raises eyebrows with Patriots late Instagram video. Uh, free agent, well, video posted and uh, uh, shared a clip from. Uh, then he deleted the uh, video. So I, you know, you know, because there, so will be uh, will DeAndre. Um, Hopkins signed with New England can't offer can't offer the clear path to a championship to other potential suitors like Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills, but does meet the criteria Hopkins detailed. And so, you know, I am definitely who wants to join a team with stable management, a quarterback who loves the game and a great defense. You know, you know, Patriot, uh, Bill Belichick has raved about DeAndre Hopkins' uh, uh, talents. Uh, former, you know, he liked him. So right now. Uh, Will become, past, even though he know he's past his prime, the former Houston, Texas standout. Um, this is according to Nesson.com. Could immediately could become world's most dangerous weapon in New England receiving court that currently features Juju Smith Schuster, Devontae Parker, Kendrick Bourne, Tyquan Thornton, Trey Nixon, six round rookies, Kayshawn Bo- um, Boot, and Demario Douglas. So you add Hopkins to the mix. That could, you know, that could offense could, you know, that offense could be really be a pickup for sure. Now, the Bruins, I know, the Boston Bruins, they're recovering from that first round upset loss to the um, to the Florida Panthers. I want to check up on those guys. And let's let's see what's going on with them. Uh, you know, they have an unrestricted free agent in Tyler Bertuzzi. You know, and... Uh, you know, Bruce Cassidy, um, it could be, you know, fired by the Boston Bruins. Uh, so, the Vegas Golden Knights, they'll, so, for, you know, you know uh, yeah, I, I really don't, I really don't know what, you know, has Bruce Cassidy done, you know, I don't know, it maybe the Bruins that don't want to play, you know, you know they did make it to the Stanley Cup final against the. Um, it did, it you know. 
Yeah. You know, it could be a very, uh, like I said, a lot of people thinking that firing Bruce Cassidy may be a big mistake. And they may be right on that. But, you know, because Cassidy did lead the Bruins to the Stanley Cup final against the uh, um, St. Louis Blues, but and they ended up losing that one. Um, but, you know, Jim Montgomery had the Bruins powerful in the regular season, but then, and then when it comes to the playoffs, didn't get the job done. So, you know, um, bottom line is, I'm sure the Bruins will, will still are still trying to work, trying to get signed some free agents. Hopefully, I don't know. Per- Pertice Bergeron will be back for another season. I don't know. We shall see what's going on there. But the good news is for 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 us Celtics fans that the Lakers have been swept right out of the playoffs. We don't worry about Ladufus James or LeBron James. I know LeBron James. I'm calling Ladufus, Lagufus, uh, Laflopus, the. La- La flop is baddest. <laughs> I don't know. That's a Latin name. So, and we don't have to worry about the Lakers in the playoffs. So, night. So, both teams will be stuck at 17 championships until one of them actually breaks through. So, one of those teams actually breaks through. I thought the Celtics would pull it off, but unfortunately, they mentally collapsed last night. I don't know what to tell you. So, I'm kind of looking forward to see. Uh, Let's see what they can do. But right now, on to the Red Sox. They're the only team, Boston sports team, left playing right now. As the Celtics and the Bruins, and now the uh, now the Celtics, the Bruins, and the Patriots are working on offseason stuff, trying to acquire players and what have you. Meanwhile, the Celtics and the Celtics and Bruins will be waiting until uh, the Celtics and play, uh, Bruins will be waiting until both the Stanley Cup and the NBA Finals are over. So that's. Uh, to, to do some wheeling and dealing, and that's probably not going to have to do. They're going to do a lot of that, and and the Patriots though, they're going to have to do some wheeling and dealing too. Will they get DeAndre Hopkins? I don't know. We'll find out for sure. So that's it. That's uh, Big Beefy E's Boston Sports Beat for the uh, first um, first segment of it. Episode six hundred seven of Eric Lee Shenanigans of nineteen seventy seven is complete. I will see you on the next episode where we're going to play some Trebek Tuesday. High rollers, baby. That's how we work it. All right? So, until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big BFE, Door for Bob Saget production, and in association with. A sweet both for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratic Network for great more content like this one.